Calculate this velocity ratio and then you just plug it in and use the exact same rule that you used for CL for Pratt-Lagan rule to get the CD. So first we will get the velocity ratio. So it is PT total pressure. Now these are So the values calculated, uh, val values measured by the rake are total pressure values. So you first, this is your PT minus PSW, P static, which should be what? It is just your P. P stream static value again and this is again a constant so you just put F4 you divide by your total pressure here this is also P24 but it's a constant so you just press F4 minus this is V14 is also constant. So, from this formula, your variable is these these values. All the all the other three are constants. So your static pressure will remain the same as for the first case that you did. Uh, this free stream static pressure. And this PT is again P24, it will also remain constant. So what would you expect for the first value? What would you expect the first value here would to be? One. Yeah, it should be one. Yeah. Then you just drag it across. So this, now you need to do square root of this to get the velocity ratio. So you just put SQRT function for square root. You select all of these. No, 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 sorry, all of these. Just take the square root of this plus one. Yeah. Yeah, drag it. So you first need to do this internal thing, then you do the square root of that, then you get this velocity ratio. And now you need velocity ratio multiplied by one minus velocity ratio, which is this multiplied by one minus this. Obviously the first one should be zero. Yeah. And now you just, now you have the inside of this integral. You have to do your type trapezoidal rule now, which is y delta y, which is a e minus a d in this case, multiply by this plus this divided by 2. You sum this. The last one this the last one should be removed. Yeah, oh yeah, sorry. The last one should be removed because obviously this has also been accounted for in the previous one. And you have one less uh, rectangles than your points. And now because your uh, y vertical values are not in percentage chord or in terms of uh, normalized with chord. So you have to use this 2 over C factor here. 
for the CL one, it was already accounted for, but here you need to multiply it with 2 over C. So your C is 152 millimeters. Yeah, it is written there. 152 millimeters. Uh, because these values are in millimeters, so you have to use C in millimeters. If you use in meters, then you just you have to convert these in meters as well. Just divide by 1000. So you do this. Multiply by 2, divide it by 152, which is your C. And this is your drag coefficient. Any questions? So the first calculation is exactly the same. Just your PT, your, your PS was this. Now your PT is these values. Obviously, you will just take the average ones. Yeah. Other constants, this, this, and this, they are exactly the same as the previous CL1 case. Yeah. Then you take the square root of this value. Then you do velocity ratio multiplied by 1 minus velocity ratio. So like this. And then you use your trapezoidal rule. You subtract these, multiply by this plus this divided by 2. Okay. And at the end you just sum them and multiply by 2 over 152. Any questions? If not, then you can start. Yeah.